Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you cannot apply font formatting to a text containing object if it is selected as an object. When selected as an object, you can only apply shape formatting to the object even if the shape contains text. To apply text formatting to text contained within an object, you must click into the text within the object and then select the text to which you want to apply font formatting. Once you have selected your text, you can then click the buttons available within the Font Button group on either the Home tab or the Format tab of the Textbox Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to apply font formatting. Hold your mouse pointer over any button shown within this button group to see a screen tip that shows the name and function of each button. Note that some buttons, like the Font Color button, have a small drop-down arrow on them that you can click to select a choice from a drop-down menu. Other buttons, such as bold or italic, are simply toggle buttons that either apply or remove the formatting specified by the button. Also notice the Clear Formatting button, which removes all text formatting from selected text, returning it to plain text within a text-containing shape. Alternatively, if you select text within an object, you can hold your mouse pointer over the selected text and wait for the mini toolbar to appear. You can then use the formatting buttons in the mini toolbar to apply many common font formatting options. For advanced users, you can set all font formatting options for selected text by clicking the Font Dialog Box button in the lower right corner of the Font Button group on either the Home tab or the Format tab of the Textbox Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. In the Font Dialog Box that appears, you can access many text effects. Use the various drop-down menus and checkboxes to apply the formatting you want. At the bottom of the dialog box is a preview of how the selected font formatting will appear. Click the Apply button to apply the formatting and leave the font dialog box open, or click the OK button to apply the formatting and close the dialog box. You can apply paragraph formatting to selected text by clicking the buttons available within the Paragraph button group on the Home tab within the ribbon. Here you will find bullets and numbering, line spacing, paragraph alignment, and special characters. Like font formatting, you can click the Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher button in the lower right corner of this button group to open the Paragraph Dialog Box. In this dialog box, you can set the properties shown on the three tabs available, Indents and Spacing, Tabs, and Line and Paragraph Breaks. Make your desired paragraph formatting settings on these tabs, and then click the OK button to apply them. Publisher also lets you apply predefined styles to selected text. Styles allow you to create a consistent appearance of the text within your publication, such as title text and heading text. To apply a style to selected text, click the Styles drop-down button on the Home tab of the ribbon, and then select the desired text style to apply from the drop-down menu. In the Arrange button group on the Home tab in the ribbon, you will find options that you can apply to selected text within a shape, as well as options that apply to the entire shape. Click the Wrap Text drop-down to select a style of text wrapping to apply to text within a text box. Click either the Bring Forward or Send Backward drop-down buttons to change the order in which the selected object overlaps other objects on the page. Click the Align button to choose one of the available alignment options displayed within the drop-down button's menu of choices. If you have multiple objects simultaneously selected in your page, you can click the Group button to group the individual shapes together as a single unit. Clicking the Ungroup button will split grouped objects back into their individual components. Click the Rotate button to select a rotation option for the selected object from the drop-down menu of Rotation Choices. You can also click the Format tab of the Textbox Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to see other attributes that you can apply to selected text in a text box as well as to the text box itself. If you have text selected, you can click the Text Fit drop-down button in the Text button group on the Format tab of the Textbox Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to apply a selected method of fitting text within the shape. 
You can click the Text Direction button to alternate the text between vertical and horizontal display. You can click the Hyphenation button to open the Hyphenation dialog box where you can set whether or not to automatically hyphenate text within a text box and where the hyphenation should occur. You can click the Manual button in this dialog box to manually set hyphenation if desired. When finished, click the OK button. Also note that you can click the Format Text Box dialog box launcher that appears in the lower right corner of the Text button group on the Format tab of the Text Box Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Doing this action opens the Format Text Box dialog box and displays the Text Box tab. This dialog box lets you set all of the Text Box properties available. When finished, click the OK button to apply any changes you made. The Font button group on the Format tab of the Text Box Tools contextual tab displays the same font choices that you have shown within the Font button group on the Home tab. In the Alignment button group on this tab, you can set the horizontal and vertical alignment of text within the shape by clicking the desired button. Click the Columns and Margins buttons to set column display in a shape or to set internal margin size. In the Linking button group, you can create a link between text boxes so that overflow text from the first text box will appear in the second text box. This allows you to continue a story across multiple text boxes on different pages, which can be useful for newsletter publications. To do this, select the first text box that contains the text that you wish to link. Then click the Create Link button. Next, click on the empty text box where you want the overflow text to appear to create a link between the two text boxes. Arrows will appear on these text boxes once they are linked, and you can click the arrows to easily move between the two linked text boxes. Once linked, you can click the Break button in the Linking button group to break a link. You can also click the Next and Previous buttons to jump between the linked text boxes quickly. In the Word Art Styles button group, on the Format tab of the Text Box Tools contextual tab in the ribbon, you can click a word art style shown to apply it to selected text. Click the Text Fill drop-down button in the same button group to choose a fill color for the selected text. Click the Text Outline drop-down button to choose a color, weight, dash style, and outline effects for the selected text. Click the Text Effects drop-down button to select a type of text effect grouped by category to apply to the selected text from the drop-down menu that appears. In the Typography button group on the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab, click the Drop Cap drop-down to select a style of drop cap for the selected text. If the text you select is numeric, you can use the Number Style drop-down to choose a number style. Click the Ligatures drop-down to set a desired ligature style for the text, which can improve readability. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Sets drop-down to select a set of alternate character shapes for the selected text. If the font you've selected includes decorative characters, Click the Swash button to enable flourishes in the selected text. For some types of fonts, you can use the Stylistic Alternates drop-down to select a set of different character shapes for the selected text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.